so what we wanted to talk to you guys about now was something called the fat loss pyramid, which you should be able to see on the screen now. What this is, is it's basically just a really rough guide to what's most important when it comes to making our choices about our diet. So step one, which is gonna be the very, very base of the pyramid, is gonna be sustain, sustainability and adherence. So this is, this is really important because if we can't adhere to a program uh, long term, then we're not actually gonna be able to see any results regardless of how good the program actually is. What we're trying to focus on here is that it's actually a lifestyle change, so not just a sort of diet or anything like that. So it's actually something that we're trying to change long term uh, permanently in our lives. Okay, next up on the pyramid, we wanna be establishing a calorie deficit. So as discussed before, the only way that you're gonna be losing weight is um, by being in a deficit. So the only way to reduce mass in general, you've got to be in a deficit. If there's no deficit, you're not going to be losing any weight. Now, the way to put yourself in a calorie deficit is you can either lower your food intake or up your energy in expenditure, or you could do both. So realistically, we're probably going to do both. Lower the food, up the exercise. Alrighty guys, so next up on the pyramid is exercise. So although achieving a negative energy balance or a calorie deficit is possible with only diet, uh, we just think that this is sort of quite unpleasant and really, really unsustainable because it really just reduces the amount of food that, we're, that we can eat throughout the day, um, which is just, as we all know, not very nice. So our solution to this is to incorporate lots of exercise into our daily plan, um, which is just going to help our energy expenditure, meaning that we can eat more food throughout the day. So in our experience working with our clients, what we've noticed is that incorporating this sort of a method where we're using both the diet and the exercise plan, uh, it's far, far, far more successful. Okay, so next up on our pyramid is self-monitoring. What does self-monitoring mean? So essentially this just means we're monitoring what we're eating, how our weight is moving. So it's shown that uh, well, through our experience, people who weigh themselves every day and track their food, they're gonna be a lot more successful with their weight loss plans rather than someone who doesn't check their weight at all or they are not tracking their food. By doing so, you're sort of getting yourself a negative feedback. So if you're not getting that negative feedback, what do you have to get you back on track? So maybe one day I'll eat a little bit too much, but I don't think I did. If I weigh myself the next day, I'm 500 grams heavier than I was yesterday, it can sort of get me back on track. So if you're not tracking your weight, you're not tracking your food, it's sort of like driving down the freeway blindfolded. You don't want to do that. So the next section on the pyramid is protein and fiber. So by now we should understand the importance of our protein intake. And as a general rule, the higher the calorie deficit that we're in, the higher the amount of protein that we should be eating. So this is really important because when we're trying to lose weight, we don't want to be losing our lean mass. We only want to be losing our fat mass. In terms of our fiber, it's really, really important that when we're eating that we're feeling satisfied after our meals. If we're not, this can lead to sort of binging down the track. So although we don't actually process the fiber, it just goes in one end and out the other. Uh, having it there in your gut can really sort of fill that space and just help you feel more full. Okay, next up on our pyramid is our carbs and our fat. There's not much to this level. Carbs and fat are just really our main source of energy. And if we do not have any energy to function on our day-to-day -day basis or even during our workouts, obviously our workouts are gonna suffer. Our workouts suffer, which means our progress suffers. So you need to make sure that you're getting enough energy inside your body just so you, you can function. Okay guys, so the very, very, very last level on the pyramid here is supplementation. So I wanna stress that this is the final level, meaning that it's the least important and the most optional. So the only time we're going to look at supplementation is if there's some sort of uh, medical reason that we need to, or apart from that, it would just be if you've absolutely nailed the six steps prior to this one. So before you've absolutely hit those on the head and there's no way you can improve those, there's no way you should even be looking at supplements. It's just not really important. They're quite expensive. They're going to give you maybe a less than 1% advantage over everyone else. So. We want to make sure that we're, you know, keep holding on to that money and we can just nail everything else um, and save ourselves a lot, a lot of time and effort.